The Police Service Commission, PSC, has announced the approval of the promotion of 1,607 Deputy Superintendents of Police, DSPs, to the rank of Superintendents of Police, SPs. This was made known in a statement issued by the Commission's Head, Press and Public Relations, Ike Chiku Ani. Ani recalled that the Commission had earlier stepped down the consideration of the officer's promotion at its last management meeting where all the recommendations were considered when it said it noticed some discrepancies in the list. According to Ani, the promotion of the DSPs to SPs saw the elevation of 158 officers in the professional cadre, which included 105 in the communication units, 22 in transports, 10 medical officers, 9 nurses and another 9 from works. The AIG Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 7 Command Headquarter is Abuja who supervises FCT and Niger Police Command, AIG Ogundele Joshua Ayodeji PSC decorates 10 newly promoted officers of the zone to their next rank of Superintendent of Police as he applauds their diligence to work and encourage them to be better for the next tax at hand. The superintendents all showed gratitude to their superiors and showed diligence to do more work as they make the nation a safer place. Family, friends and well wishes were all there to congratulate them. To the Inspector General of Police, who deem you worthy and recommend them for promotion. The Zone 7 in particular, we are thankful to God because we have 10 DSP promoted to the rank of a uh, superintendent uh, of police. Your performance to your duties is a sort of recognition of your dedication to your duty. Is to acknowledge that you are a disciplined uh, officer. Because if you are not disciplined, definitely you will not be promoted. So we thank God for these officers. I will only enjoy you people that you need to showcase yourself so that the Inspector General of Police will not be disappointed in promoting you. Showcase yourself in line of your duties. Because to whom much is given, much is a uh, expected actually it's it's a privilege uh, to be considered by the inspector general of police for the next rank so um, this is an awesome experience but it is also a new platform to serve better and in a greater capacity so that's how i feel. want to be in the force at first but getting into the force i realized that um, it was a platform for me to help and reach out to the public in the best way that I can and also doing so um, in also uh, protecting lives and properties. So I didn't take it as a joke. I took up that mandate and um, I'm still running with it because not everyone is privileged to serve. So I feel honored and I serve in, in truth because at the end of the day, we have been given the opportunity and we've been entrusted to serve the members of the public. So that's all I do every day. They say more is given, is more is expected. So uh, this rank that I've been elevated has a lot of tax ahead, and which I will dedicate this time to do more that is needed. In this time of uh, insecurity, we will bring our work into it to see how we can handle the situation on ground. Yes, you know, every step you move comes with responsibility. And with this new rank, I know I'll be sure that with even more responsibility and by his grace, oh, I will step up. I have served in the PMF, I have served in uh, places like Rivers, Lagos, Kano, even Yobi. I have served in Yobi. And you know the hurdles during this insurgency. I have been there and by the grace of God, uh, God saw me through and I scaled through it. You know in this work, there is no woman, there is no man. We are all the same men. Any, any work that a man can do, a woman can do better. We go out, 
for work, the same work, there is no different. But as a woman, there are a lot, a, a lot of challenges in terms of our children, our spouses. At times, you left your child at home to come and do the work. But we thank God, God has been by our side to train up our children, to self-guide them, nothing harm them in our absence. We say thank you. Abigail Abala, uh, who is being promoted today. Yeah. Well, I, I have worked under her for at least about two to three years now. And uh, in fact, I can attest to everyone that she's a leader, leader she's a leader by example. Uh, in fact, I live to emulate her. Uh, she has been very nice, very good, very educated, uh, very intelligent, and she carries everybody along. In fact, she's a kind of uh, woman that even when you have a family problem that she do share with you, and uh, she go to extra mile to make sure that whatever the domestic problem you have, a part of the police, a part of the official duty, she makes sure she penetrate into the family one each one after the other to make sure at least solve that person problem. We have been together. She's very kind, very humble, very hardworking. In fact, you can see, you can see, you can see the marvelous uh, crowd that are here that came in support and in solidarity. Uh, I think it's a plus to everyone who have witnessed uh, today this uh, occasion. That is to say, if you have been bad, it's a lesson to all of us and it's a preaching to all of us to change, to emulate just like her. S.P. Adikoa is a wonderful person. Um, as the job demands, and you know it's quite tasking, she has tried to manage every situation that has come before her. And handle. yes, there's been challenges, one, two, there, but at the end of the day, she comes out victorious and fair, because fair and, 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 and um, giving, giving credit to who, to who deserves it. You know, they have cases where they'll say, once the matter goes to police, and once anybody brings money, it goes the other way, but in her case, it's not. Yes, and we thank God for that. Reporting from Nigeria's state capital, Soibifa, Jack Rich, Top Accolade News.